Squarespace gives us a lot of options for the design of our mobile menu, but we can't use our own image for the mobile menu icon, unless you use the custom code that I'm about to share with you. I'm Becca Harpain, Squarespace expert and educator, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use your own image for the mobile menu icon of your Squarespace website. The codes I'm about to use are listed in the description below, but I'd love to show you exactly how to use them in Squarespace. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and we can get started. Here inside Squarespace, we're gonna take a look at the mobile view of our website. This is the icon that we're going to change. I'm going to navigate to Pages on the left-hand side of the screen here, and then I'll select Website Tools and then Custom CSS. This is where we'll be pasting the code. But before we can do that, we need to upload our file to the custom files. Click on this dropdown here, and you can drag and drop an image from your computer to upload it to your files. I've uploaded a square PNG image that we'll use in our code. Now, the first thing we need to do is to hide the actual icon that's there. So I just said burger inner opacity zero. That's going to make it transparent. Now, the next thing we'll do is change the burger box. We're going to give it a background image, and that background image is going to be the image we've uploaded. Now, I just typed background image URL, and I'm going to open up a parentheses, and instantly, Squarespace has popped the URL for my image between those parentheses. Now, if it didn't do that for you, click the drop down and literally click on your image and it will paste it there inside your code. Now you'll see I've got it twice, so we're gonna go ahead and remove that second one. There we go, we've got the URL for our image. Now we're still not seeing anything because we haven't told the computer browser where to place it. So the next thing I'm going to say is background size, cover. And now my square image will cover the space of that burger box, that mobile menu icon. Pretty great, right? Now it looks like we're done, but we're not quite finished with this tutorial yet. I want you to see this. When I click on the icon, it's going to leave it while the menu's open. And I think it's really important for this to turn back into that X so people know how to get out of the menu if they click on it by accident or they wanna go back to the page. So let's add some more code. Again, you'll find all of these codes underneath the video. This new line of code says when the burger's active, when it's been clicked on and we're looking at the menu, I want you to make sure that that burger box doesn't have a background image anymore. And I want you to make sure that that inner burger has an opacity of one so it's visible and we can see it. You can see now it's turned into the X. When we close it, we've got our custom mobile menu icon. When we open it, we can indicate that, hey, the menu's open and you can close it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select save, but I've got one more important thing to teach you. We're gonna close this menu here and I'll show you what happens if you upload an image that isn't a perfect square. Clicking the custom files option, I'm gonna add one more image for my computer. This image is a rectangle image. Now let's go ahead and remove the image that we're currently using and we're gonna replace it with the rectangle mobile menu icon. And I want you to see what happens. It gets cut off. It doesn't fit in the square. If your icon is not a perfect square, we can fix it with custom code. So right now it says background size cover, but we can change that to say background size contain. That's a good start, but now that rectangle is repeating itself because it's not the perfect square shape. So we've got more to add. We're going to say background, repeat, no repeat. And I forgot there's a dash there. There we go, no repeat. And then one more thing, because right now it's a little off center. We wanna say background, position, center. And now our rectangle icon is in the center of that space where the mobile menu icon used to be. So if you're using a rectangle shape or any shape that isn't a perfect square ratio, what you're going to want to do is change the text here to say background size contain, background repeat, no repeat, background position center. Now we're leaving this other part here. So as soon as we open the menu, it's going to turn into that close X icon. So people understand we can close the menu by clicking on it again. All right, I'll go ahead and select save and we'll call this tutorial good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we use to make this magic happen in Squarespace. Just make sure that you replace that placeholder text with the URL for the image that you've uploaded to your website. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope that you found it helpful. If you'd like to learn more about all the cool things that Squarespace can do, I've included links to some of my other resources in the description below, so definitely check those out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, then you are going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I've created a Notion database 
to hold all of the selectors for everything I want to modify on a Squarespace website. I've packed it with pro tips and custom code snippets that you can use to make your Squarespace website uniquely yours. Get access to this game-changing database at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.